That's amazing. And there's Hosanna. There was a slender mongoose that was feeding off the carcass and it did a suicidal dive out of the tree and Hosanna went chasing after it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've never in my life. So there we go. That just shows you that mongoose will actually scavenge off a carcass in a tree. That is crazy. Well, hello, Hosanna. <laughs> that was absolute madness. The slender mongoose was so scared of us that it literally jumped from where that carcass is now out the tree and down and ran across this sort of gap that you see here and Hosanna came bounding off after it when he saw it falling out of the tree. That's ridiculous. And look at that full belly. Have you been eating nicely my boy? <laughs> He's looking so good. Big and healthy and full bellied and a little uncomfortable I would say with all that food. So there we go, two spotted cats and a spotted hyena as well, and a slender mongoose. It's proving to be quite the predator-filled afternoon already. That's just crazy. That is honestly the first time I have ever seen a mongoose in a tree and then fall out of the tree trying to get away from us. That's absolutely insane. How did that mongoose get up there? That's madness. You can see it's quite a long way up, so that mongoose has had to have run all the way up there and that way without being spotted by any of these cats. That is ridiculous. How is that possible? <laughs> Amazing. See something new all the time. It just goes to show that we, as much as we see a lot and we spend a lot of time out here, around any corner at any time can be something that you just completely have never seen before. That is absolutely astounding. Now. Poor Sana is going to the toilet, so we'll just give him a little bit of privacy. We're not going to zoom in while he has his toilet time, although it looks like he's now going to find himself a spot to lie down. Don't smell your own dung. There we go. Are you going to come lie by us? Now he's going to sit now and he's going to watch his carcass very carefully, so he's going to make sure no other slender mongoose goes up there. He's also watching a few birds. Oh look, there's the other carcass. You see it, Seb? Both carcasses are here. So, sorry, my hand got in the way there, but there's the other carcass high up in the tree. So, Tandi and Hosanna have got their carcasses in both in the same tree. Now that's one for the books. So there's the Steenbok up at the top that Tandi killed this morning. Because I asked Tax and he said they actually saw it happening this morning on drive. So that's the Steenbok. You can see it's not eaten at all. It's completely whole. And then the Impala, the young Impala, is the one that the slender mongoose was busy feeding off, which is that carcass a little bit further down. Seb, there we go, that one. <laughs> so, and that's the Impala carcass, which is about a two-day-old carcass. So apparently this was found yesterday morning, which is pretty insane. So that is a turn up for the books. I would have thought they would have tried to put their kills in different trees and not to utilize the same tree, but maybe they didn't see one another and they kind of just put it up and that's how it is. But it seems like Taylor has raced through the Masai Mara and she's going to complete a predator-filled afternoon with the tawny-colored cats.